This recipe is for a spinach mushroom ravioli or ravolo with a bacon and sage garnish. For the complete ingredient list, see the blog. First, cut your mushrooms into half-inch diced pieces. The key to a successful filling is not to make the mixture wet and soggy, so we are not going to be blanching the spinach, but briefly sautéing it with the mushrooms. In order to prevent the mushrooms from bleeding or letting out its juices, the key is to sauté this in a large pan which allows the moisture to evaporate quickly. In a large skillet, add the olive oil and then sauté and caramelize the garlic mushrooms and briefly sauté the spinach until wilted. Season with mushroom bouillon, umami seasoning, or salt. Remove from the heat and allow to cool. Now we're going to be preparing the garnish, which is going to be this crispy bacon and the sage butter. In a skillet, add the bacon and fry until crisp. You can actually add a little bit of brown sugar at the end to caramelize the bacon and make it slightly sweet. If you are crisping a lot of bacon, Make sure you pour the rendering or the melted fat into a container so that the bacon is actually crisping on a fairly dry surface. This will allow it to crisp better. You will be using some of the rendering for the sage butter sauce. Remove the crisp bacon and place it on the paper towel. And when it's cooled, we will dice it into little pieces. So in a smaller pan, I'm going to add a little bit of bacon rendering together with the butter. And I'm going to just add the sage to the butter to crisp it up. And when it changes color, you can flip it over. That's when you know that it's ready. Remove the sage leaves when both sides have turned color. They might not be very crispy at this point, but they will crisp up when it's cooled. Allow the bacon and sage leaves to cool and crisp while we work on the filling. When the spinach mushroom mixture has cooled, chop this mixture into about a quarter inch dice. Add the spinach mixture to the bowl together with the ricotta cheese, feta cheese, Break it up on its way in and grated Parmesan cheese. And usually I just grate it fresh um, from a chunk of cheese. So this is actually a Parmesan Romano cheese. Then you just mix this. And here's your filling. For the ravioli skins, I use these <laughs> dumpling skins. And this happens to be a vegetable dumpling wrapper. And it has spinach and broccoli powder. So it has some good vegetable ingredients in it. And it's green. So this is gonna actually be my skin rather than making it from scratch. For the raviolo with the egg, we are going to take some of the mixture and place it into a Ziploc bag or a piping bag. Now, push the mixture to the corner of the Ziploc bag, eliminate as much air as possible, and seal the bag. For the raviolo, we need to add an egg into each piece. So, we are only going to be using the egg yolks, and you can either separate them with a egg separator or just with the shells. Now, we want to eliminate all the egg white, because we do not want to see any white of the egg in the actual Rivolo. Now the Rivolos are really rich with the egg yolk, so I would suggest that you would have one or two Rivolos with a few ravioli without the egg. So here is the mixture, and what I'm gonna do is cut the corner here um, so that I can pipe this mixture onto the dumpling wrapper that will then become our Rivolo. So I'm going to cut it corner off. And make sure you throw away your corner so it doesn't end up in your uh, Rivolo. Now pipe a generous tall wall 
about a quarter inch from the edge of the dumpling wrapper and make sure that it's nice and tall because that's the filling and it is also going to be the nest for the egg yolk. Now carefully place your egg yolk into your spinach mushroom nest. Using the egg white from the egg, run it along the edge of the dumpling wrapper to create a kind of glue. Then place it on the raviolo and gently press the edges together making sure that you remove all the air pockets to prevent it from bursting during the cooking process. To make regular ravioli without the egg yolk, take a spoonful of filling, place it into the center of the dumpling wrapper. I'm just going to use the egg white since I have this available to me and go around here and remove all the air pockets in the ravioli. So here you have it. And that would be just the ravioli without the, the egg. Okay. okay, so now when your water starts to come to a boil, you can see that it's starting to bubble here. What you want to do is take a slotted spoon and stir it slowly and then slowly add your ravioli making sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan because if you if it sticks to the bottom of the pan you're going to lose the ravioli because um, the skin's going to just come apart so just add that there and then cook for two minutes. On a slow boil rather than a rolling boil to prevent the ravioli from breaking. On another burner, reheat your sage butter and once the raviolis are done, coat the raviolis with the sage butter. For the plating. Place a raviolo that has been coated with the sage butter onto the plate and top it with some crispy sage leaves, caramelized bacon, and fresh ground pepper. And if you want, some freshly grated cheese. Now comes the moment of truth. Ooh, look at that yolk and delicious spinach mushroom filling. Yum. Well, enjoy and bon appetit. More recipes can be found on sammywongskitchen.com or social media. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.